a cup of tea? No, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'll have a cookie, though. Oh, I made them last night. They're for everyone. What's that? Oh, it's from a guy down there. He can't speak, so he has to write everything down. Mr Ardbeg. Yeah, I can't read his handwriting, though. You best stop asking for Faye. Faye, do you want a cookie? No, thanks. Do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> no, thanks. Do you think he'd be my adopted granddad if I asked him? Mr Ardbeg? Don't buy into that pipe and slippers act. He's a crafty little fox, that one. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. Has Mr Ardbeg been discharged? No, he's in surgery. Surgery? Mm-hmm. What? <sighs> Important man with all his files. Overworked man with all his files. Well, just a surgeon, you know, I'm a clerk as well. Procedures all morning and then a mountain of paperwork thanks to Vanessa Litton and her initiative. Oh. oh. Thank you. Hey! Put that mirror back and leave that car alone! What kind of moron uses another man's wing mirror to style his hair? I think the answer's in the question. Rick, I need... What? I, I need to speak to you as soon as possible. Rick, I told you what kind of day I'm having. Okay. I don't mean to be a nag. But, but you yeah. will anyway. Well, I'm just not sure that taking a boatload of drugs is the best thing for you or your baby. It wasn't a boatload. Just a dustbin full. <sighs> take that. I mean, the tickets are for take that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> No, no, I was seeing if you'd like to come. Aren't these really expensive? I'm friend most for the security company. Oh, my God, how lucky are you? What's this? Oh, Nicky's got two tickets for Take That. 7.30? Pick you up at 6, we'll go for dinner first, all right? That, that is what you meant, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. <sighs> Thanks, Nicky. I really appreciate it. The gays called. Sorry? The gays called. They want their fashion back. <sighs> want to know what women want? No, oh, Sean, all right. I've got your scan back. Everything seems OK. Though you will need to go and see the gynaecologist. I can make an appointment for you. You'll know, won't you? Know what? Do women want, A, a nice bloke who does everything for us and is always well turned out, or B, someone with a bit of danger and cockiness, the rough and ready type? I really wish I could say A. Just let me know if you need any pain relief. See? You see how he keeps eye contact? How he stands? He's trapping her in the corner. She feels vulnerable. He's a big, strong man. She's just a helpless little girl. Why, he could have his wicked way with her right there. It's about confidence, not hair gel. No, I'm not convinced George is a role model. Boring. Look, get over there and learn. Ask if you can work with him. How does he find his way to work every day? I don't know, but I've got work to do. So you can go back upstairs if you want. No. Well, Charlie, you need a friendly face when he comes round. Exactly, he needs his family, not me. Don't be silly. You're having his grandchild. I'm not sure if I'm keeping it yet. Not like you, am I? All growing up with a proper job. Just a daft little lass still. Well, well, well. Seeing all the old faces today. So, where are the blood gas ranges? Oh, right here. 
Can you keep a secret, Nikki? No, I, I need you to promise. I promise. Hey, gorgeous. Hey. Thanks again for those tickets. No problem. S something weird happened today. Really? Maria, Maria, just met a girl named Maria. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nikki, how are you? Fine. Wait, don't you worry about today. Your little secret's safe with me. What little secret? Boy stuff. Forget about it. <sighs> Come Tell on. Tell me how happy you are. Don't embarrass me in front of Nikki. Tell me, or I won't go and watch grown men prance about in leather pants with you. <sighs> I'm very happy, George. <laughs> so, Nikki, I'm um, sorry, what was this weird thing you were saying about? Uh, well, it, it wasn't. It... This patient had a tattoo of... Take that. All of them. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Come on, let's go. Can't wait. I'll make it up to you, I promise. You want just one of the small sacrifices? Any luck? Yeah, all bad. <laughs> Sure everything's okay? You know, George, I didn't much appreciate what happened the other day. You fondling my behind. <laughs> you gotta learn to take a joke, Nikki. Right. Didn't know you were with us in AAU today. Welcome. Wait, and thanks again for those take that tickets. You know, those boys may be crowning 40, but they still gotta wear accounts, haven't they? Oh, don't worry, Nikki. Someday your prince will come. I guarantee you. Look, George, I'm not interested in guys. Not in any way. Yeah, OK. Whatever you say. I would stay well clear of him. Listen, I thank you for those baby clothes. Oh, you like them? Oh, they're gorgeous. Do you know, when I saw them in the shop, I couldn't resist. <laughs> and I see they're from George as well. Yeah. So you two are okay? Yeah, we're good. Well, we're better than good. Why, is there any reason why we shouldn't be? No, no, none at all. And listen, thanks again. I really love them. <laughs> I think we may have a bleeding to a Dino also here, so let's get an FBC, UNE's group and save and cross match. And let's put Mrs. Adams in for gastroscopy and start half-hourly ops, okay? Right away. I'll be back to check on you in a little while. Is that okay? That's fine. In the meantime, I leave you in the more than capable hands of Nurse Kendall here. Thank you. I mean that about the hand. Well done. What are you doing for lunch today? Uh, I don't know yet. Well, if you're not too busy, maybe we could... How are we doing over here? Um, yeah, we've uh, we've let Mrs. Adams know that we'll be taking her into theatre just as soon as. It's not still busy, is it? Right, so. That is annoying, but can't be helped, I guess. Um, George. Yeah. I know this is a bit random, but I was talking to my parents, and um, they were wondering if you'd like to join us for Sunday lunch. This Sunday? Is that not good? No, I, I can't. I, I usually play tennis with a couple of pals on a Sunday. It's a shame. I'm, I'm sorry. No worries. But speaking of lunch, how about you and me go grab a sandwich right now? On me. How's that sound? Sounds great. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. And this. Well, Mr. Faulkner's test results are back, Dr. Cohen. Oh, thanks, Chrissy. Well, thank you and Maria so much for the lovely baby clothes. Baby. Oh, yeah. Glad you like them. Yeah? Which one did you pick? The cream one or the lovely black and white one? Oh, I left that decision up to Maria. So it's all going good then? Yeah, it certainly seems to be. Uh, Nikki, how's Mrs. Adams doing? She seems stable enough for now. Well, I'll keep you posted, all right? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm glad she's got you to keep a manly eye on her. 
Glad you like the baby clothes, Chrissy. What's with that guy? I don't know. Best thing you can do is rise above it. Easy for you to say. Sorry, Ronnie. Test results are back. I can see this is going to be good news. She's tachycardic and shut down. She's gone into hypervolemic shock. Right, I'll be right back. Your heart does appear to be significantly enlarged, so I wonder if there's something you're not telling us. Such as? You tell me. Sorry, we have an emergency. Carol Adams, possible hypervolemic shock. Can she shut down? I need to put in an external jugular. It's gonna lead a crystalloid stat. Right. Extend your shoulders, please. Okay, she's lost a lot of blood. Turn her head 45 degrees. It's like a significant unstable bleeding. Let's prep theater for an emergency gastroscopy straight away, please. Okay, we need six units of cross-matched blood from the fridge. Her BP's starting to stabilize. Hips are being prepped now. Do you want me to help you take her into theater? No, you should stay here and look after Ronnie. Uh, Nikki, cue assist. Let's go. Uh, George, I had a word with Nikki earlier, and he seemed to be quite upset. Oh, yeah? Yeah, with you. I was just fooling around. It, it wasn't serious. Well, Nicky didn't seem to think so. And I don't think it would be such a bad idea if you went over and apologized to him. Whatever you say. Nicky. Sir, good work with Mrs. Adams today. Lucky you were there to help when you did. Nicky. Chrissy tells me that I might have made you feel a little uncomfortable. It was all meant in jest, but if I've upset you, I apologize. Sincerely. She? So we're good? Two. Sure. You know, inserting that cannula is a really useful trick to have in your armory. I can show you how to do it if you like. What? Now? Right now is good for me. You? Uh, yeah, now it's fine. Excellent. <coughs> have you seen George? He was talking to Nikki five minutes ago. <sighs> Where is he now? Why, is something wrong? No, he's... Just, there are patients that need to see him, and... How are things going between you two? Really? I wish I knew. You know, one minute we're all happy and together, and I think things are going somewhere, and then the next each... Well, for what it's worth, as far as the men are concerned, I usually find it's best to trust my instincts. Can't afford to be nervous about inserting the cannula, Nicky. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? Do with me. Look, what do you want from me? Don't want anything from you. I was just trying to teach you. Well, it doesn't seem that way to me. <laughs> Look, Nikki, if I wanted to seduce you, I wouldn't be playing any stupid games, all right? I'd just come out and say it. What? What's going on? Ask your bisexual boyfriend. <clears throat> yeah, Nikki was beginning to get a real feel for the procedure, too. It's a shame. My bisexual boyfriend. Tell me the truth, George. Well, truth is, yeah, guess I am. Don't have a problem with that, do you? Where does that leave us, though? I thought you were serious about giving this relationship a chance. Right. Right? So what does right mean? Look. We've had a really great time, Maria. But? But I thought we were on the same page with this. And what page would that be? The having fun page. I am. I... <laughs> What's with all the baby clothes? The Sunday lunch with mom and dad? I mean, it sounds a lot more like serious commitment to me, wouldn't you say? Right, well, um, now we've sorted all of that out, I, I guess we'll just leave it at that, right? Maybe we should. Yeah, I think so. Do you have a word with Mr. Faulkner? What's wrong? I don't know, it just seems a bit subdued. You okay? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go and talk with him now. You okay, Ronnie? I've had better days. What did Dr. Kerwin say? He said I've got to have a, an IC, something put in my heart. An ICD. Um, it's a small device that they put in your heart to make it work more efficiently. That's the last bell for me. I'm sure you'll find something to do. <laughs> so.
something happened between you two? Um, it's not something I want to talk about. Hey, you've got a tender heart, girl. Tender hearts and men like us are a bad mix. You want to remember that. Nikki, I, I'm sorry about that stuff with Georgia. We're still mates, right? Of course. Why wouldn't we be? You've got nothing to be sorry for. And just for the record, I'm not into guys at all. No, nobody ever thought you were. You must think I'm pretty damn stupid. Don't be daft. How about we go for a drink? I don't think so. Not tonight. Thanks, Nikki. Men's room.